welcome back once again. Um, in this video now, I want to illustrate how to cut the top. Now, bear in mind that this cutting will give you the best fitting you will want in your outfit. And these are the measurements I'm working with. So, now, you already know the numbers you divide with. I will still explain. Divide your chest by 4, shoulder by 2, your neck by 6, Short um, sleeve length, no division. Round sleeve divided by two, then top length, no division. So now my chest line is 42 and a half. We divide by two, you are going to have 10.75. Sorry, 10.6. So the first thing you need to do first is when you fold your fabric, your folding must cover your chest by four plus the inch allowance. So chest by four is giving me 10. 10 Six, five. Now you add extra one and a half or two inches. So your folding must cover this. It should not be less than this. It, it, it should not be more than this as well. So once you have folded and gotten your folding properly done, your right hand side from the down part of the clothes, your left hand side is the shoulder side. So the first thing you need to do now is you add your folding or your hemming allowance, which is four inches. Four inches. Now, when you mark that four inches, you extend the lines. Now, when you extend the line this way, now this becomes folding allowance. Now, the top length I'm having here is 34. 34 top length. 34 top length. So, this is 34. So, you extend it, mark 34 this way. Now, right now, you draw your shoulder line now at this point is the point you determine your armhole the armhole which i told us is one of the most important aspects of our outfit now the, if you do your calculation very well 42 and a half over 4 gave us um, 10.65 now when you minus 1 from it it will give you 9.65 so at this point i'm going to use armhole of 9 or because it's, it's a long sleeve nine i'm uh, sorry nine and a half as my um armhole so armhole of 9.5 is what i will use as my armhole now you apply your chest line measurement there extra 1.5 is what i'm using now on the shoulder, shoulder by two is so it's eight and a half, which is um nine point two five. Now you have to add zero point five, zero point three to it. That's zero point three, that's less than half inch to it for your sleeve allowance joining. So giving me nine point six now on nine point six here. So you mark your shoulder line here. So you you connect the shoulder allowance to the real chest. Now, I told us that we are going to use 2.5 inches to treat, to slant our shoulder. So you mark 2.5. When you mark 2.5, you take it back to the neckline area. Now, that's what you call armhole trimming, which is very important in our cutting processes. I trim in cutting. I also trim before I fix my sleeve. So from the slanting point, you have 7.5 left. In the middle is 3.75 you mark from that middle you mark 1.5 inwards now you use your armhole curve to connect so you must have your armhole curve with you this armhole curve to connect so this is how your marking should look like now the next thing you need to do now is your next divisions your neck division my neck is um 17 17 by by 6 giving me 2.83 so when you minus 0 0.3 from it you have 2.53 so i'm going to mark at 2.5 2.5 adding 0 0.5 to reach again giving me three inches 